I'm not happy. So, I got a Mayu, and it worked okay. The main thing was that it just felt really sluggish on the inner layers. Moyu said there was an issue with the center caps, so they sent out new ones. Now, before I got those new ones, I ended up getting another one. Still kind of sluggish in the inner layers. Then the new caps came out, but they're, they're taking a while to really get to everyone. So I bought a Mayu that had the new ones. It's nicer. It's not amazing, but it's nicer. I finally got the caps. And in my unboxing video, which I'll have a link in the description, I compared them to their new ones. I compared the new ones to the old ones, and I couldn't find a single difference. They looked exactly the same. Well, I went and installed them. And when I got them installed, I just took a few pieces out, put those in, and it was bad. It was really, really grindy. So I thought, okay, I did something wrong. Took the whole cube apart. Then I put it back together. For any of you who have put together 4x4, you know the difficulty of it. Um... But was even this is this cube is actually really well structured where it would be hard to pop a piece out of this, which makes it also really hard to put together. So I put it back together and there are certain pieces that have to fit in. Put it back together and still like this. So I looked it up online. And a couple other people who have gotten the new caps and put them back together that I've read have the exact same issue. The exact same thing. That the new caps are worse. They're actually worse. Now, one thing that is nice, these outside layers are amazing. These are possibly the best outside layers of any 4x4 on the market. And if those inside layers were just as smooth, this would be the best 4x4 on the market. But it's not. So what are, what's the issue? My thinking is that it's the internal pieces that go in between the centers. So for those who don't know how 4x4, for pretty much most 4x4s on the market, is that it's actually a 5x5. Five five. And the inside, you can kind of see, I'll just put the pictures actually, um, are what the pieces of a 5x5 five five would be, just much smaller and inside instead of outside here. And the internal pieces that are under the caps are, in my opinion, are too thick. Because even when I was putting them back together, they wouldn't fit nicely. I would have to really push them, and I almost felt like the plastic had to slightly adjust to get that middle piece inside of there. And so because of that, when it turns, it's not just sliding nicely underneath it. It's catching and hitting those bumps every single time. Now I could break this in and just really turn it, which I'm going to try to do, but this one's fine. Now here's the, the weird thing though. The old one was pretty bad. Not, not so bad, but bad enough to where it wouldn't be someone's main. The new one was a bit better. Why do the new caps not feel like this? I don't know. So I think I might at some point try to mod those inner pieces. But I'm going to try to contact Moyu first and see if I can get some explanation, something about this. Kong's design, all the cubes have been amazing. The ones that he's designed before they got their own Kong's design label, awesome. The Yu Ying and Mei Ying, awesome. Many people consider the best cube out there. When the 4x4 came out, everyone was looking at the designs like, this is going to be amazing, and it came out and ugh, something was up. They tried fixing it. It still hasn't been completely fixed. I know a lot of companies don't have the caps, but those who do, I, I can't recommend it. I don't know what to do about this. So, if you're looking to get a 4x4 right now, any other money, get an Aosu. I'll have a link in the description to speedcube.com.au. Um, they're the ones who have been sending me the caps and the 4x4. 
I understand. Some I get a lot of comments every time I make a video. They're like, why in Australia? Are you from Australia? If you're in Australia or you live around the area, great place to go. If you don't live in Australia, they do ship worldwide. I understand other places might be cheaper for shipping, but it's still an option for a company to go to. Um, yeah, if you have the money, get it out soon. If you want something a little bit cheaper, then something like the Cyclone Boys G4 for the mini size, or the Yushin's still pretty good. i not as big a fan of the Guansu as many people are, but there's those for the option. I'm hoping they come up with a third version of this, and I'm hoping the community is not still upset about it. Hopefully we can look past it. Um, but if you get the caps, try it. If it works for you, let me know, because I have not met anyone who's tried the caps and they've actually worked. It's all made it worse. So, thank you for watching. Um, I got a new shirt. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.